If you are watching this video and you are not a ghost, then there is 5 liters of blood running in your blood vessels whose total length is 60,000 miles. Although the blood is made up of a lot of components, but this red fluid gets its specific color from red blood corpuscles or RBCs. I am sure that you have already heard a lot about them. But have you ever wondered from where these cells come and where do they go after finishing their task? In this video of Casually Explained series, we are going to know more about the life cycle of RBCs which keeps you alive. So stay with us throughout the video. The RBC, also called erythrocytes, are the most common type of blood cells. They are produced in bone marrow by erythropoietic cells through a process known as erythropoiesis. But when you were in your mother's womb, they were produced by your liver and spleen. In healthy adults, the bone marrow produces 2 million RBCs per second. This number may seem big, but when you have to maintain 20 to 30 trillion RBCs in body, then this number is really small. In certain conditions, for example when you go up in mountains, your blood production increases significantly. And this production rate can be further increased by hormone erythropoietin which is produced by your kidneys. At the last stage of development, the immature RBC absorbs iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid. After that, they lose their nucleus to make room for hemoglobin. A single RBC contains about 280 million molecules of hemoglobin. Now these mature RBCs are released into bloodstream. But they can also be stored in liver or spleen for later use. They perform two vital functions in our body. One is to deliver oxygen to cells and other is to take away carbon dioxide from cells. The lifespan of RBC is approximately 120 days and they perform these two tasks 24 by 7 without complaining. But if it gets damaged or non-functional, it can be removed even before 120 days. As the RBC ages, it has certain changes in its plasma membrane which makes it attractive to macrophages. These macrophages then breaks the RBC into iron and green pigment called biliverdin in a process known as eruptosis. This breakdown process can also take place in liver and spleen. But most of the eruptosis occurs in spleen, that is why it is known as graveyard of RBC. Later, biliverdin is converted into yellow pigment bilirubin which gets stored in gallbladder to be used in digestive process. The iron of RBC is sent back to bone marrow where it is reused in manufacturing of new cells. But it does not mean that you have an endless recycling of iron. Additional dietary iron is needed to support healthy RBC life cycle. So this was the biography of RBC. Sure it's complex, but that complexity is necessary for keeping you alive. The deficiency of RBC can lead to anemia. To know more about anemia, its types and remedies, watch this video. And for more such interesting videos, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.